and I will give my own Alice Waters shaped me story, which was kind of amazing. Um, as a graduate student, this is really, I believe it was like 1981, 1982, uh, yeah, 1982. Um, uh, we finally said, let's go to this fancy restaurant called Chez Panisse on Shattuck. They have it upstairs. They sell pizzas. I mean, it's not even that expensive. What could be? And it was a little intimidating because of the copper and the dark wood and the whole thing. But they had a pizza thing. And uh, we got up there, and on the menu was an appetizer that we literally thought was a joke. Uh, it was an appetizer. And the appetizer was tomato. And the description of the appetizer was a tomato. And I thought, and it was like $3, which at that time I was like, that was a lot for a tomato. I thought, what the hell? I'm going to spoil tomato. You know, with for a tomato. There's a tomato. And, uh, and so I said, no, I'm getting the tomato. And it was like, ah, you know. So they present the tomato, it's sliced, it has this amazing rock salt, some kind of veal, blah, 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 you know, olive oil, and a little tarragon sprig on it. And I was like, you know, just kind of, honestly, it was like an ironic order. And I had a bite of the tomato, and it changed my life. I thought, okay, this person knows what they're doing. This is literally the greatest food I've ever eaten. And I became a pathetic Berkeley food snob. And have been ever since. And it was a conversion experience, and I'm not making it up. From a tomato. Wow.